Hey friends, welcome back. Today I am working on week 20 in my 2023 Project Life album. It's a really, really quick week this week. Uh, I used the April Studio Calico Documenter Kit and it all just came together really easily. Um, I had a couple of photos in here that were quite kind of lavendery uh, and I really did want to play up that and they were a few little bits and pieces in this kit that had um, that kind of purple color. Um, I'm using one solid card. It's got a um, like a, a little sentiment on it that didn't at all suit my spread. So I've just covered it up with one of my smaller square photos. Um, I couldn't go past that sort of tanned stripe card for my coffee photo. It was like the perfect matching color. I've got one three by four spot for some journaling that I've put a couple of different cards in and ended up picking one that had a little kind of feelings checklist off the top of it. And then for my title card, I went for really the only other card in there that had a bit of purple. There's a lot of green on there and there's even some lime green, which I'm not like in love with. Um, but I kind of make it work and I do like that having that kind of extra color in there stops it being too I guess themey or like monochromatic it adds a little bit of extra color in there which I really like. Now I went through the very small die cut pack and pulled out a couple both green one kind of that limey citron green too. Uh, I'm going to use both of them this was perfect this little kind of I don't know what it's called, like a wee key tag shape, uh, because I had my sister here this week uh, for my Nana's funeral, so we took a little bit of sister time, um, and the waves were atrocious, the weather was really bad, um, but Tracy very, very willingly, I don't know if that's the right word, uh, she was happy to let me take a series of photos uh, to show the size of the wave, and she didn't get too wet while standing there. So it was a little bit of a win. Uh, that was a really easy card to put together. I'd made the grid photos uh, in Photoshop. And then I just placed that die cut right in the middle there. It was perfect with that kind of diamond shape. It fit along those lines perfectly. I just covered up the whole of it with a little lavender flower. Um, like puffy sticker. Because I was just trying to add a few more kind of extra little bits of lavender in there. Just to kind of... I didn't like, like make it obvious that the lavender was kind of there for a purpose. So I'm doing the same thing with this title card basically. I grabbed some white alphas, uh, these are citrus twist ones out of my stash. The alphas for this particular kit were like a red cardstock, definitely not going with my color scheme. Uh, the white one worked much better, especially on this busy card. Um, I didn't worry about ease, I just put the WK and week 20. I filled in the gap underneath the letters with another one of those little um, purple floral puffy stickers and then added one of the labels as my date stamp. So super simple. Um, if I had planned it a bit better I might have moved everything up a touch but as it is I'm, I'm not going to sweat the small stuff over this layout. I was just trying to get it done kind of as quickly as possible. Now another kind of lucky coincidence that I loved, um, these little circle sentiment stamps. I wouldn't normally use these kind of things um, particularly often, but it fit inside my cup of coffee. I, I like I couldn't have planned it any better if I had measured that out and printed the photo I couldn't have I couldn't have got it any better than that it fits in there perfectly I just stamped it with some memento tuxedo black ink and then it adhered the photo down um, and again that fit perfectly on those um, like tan stripes it was just one of those weeks that just came together super super easy now I had uh, a little photo of me and Willow just kind of chilling at home uh, watching some Pink Fresh Studio uh, Create and Connect uh, events. Um, this was sort of towards the end of the week. I was up very early watching those classes um, and Willow sat with me for a little bit before she got totally bored and went off to do kitten stuff. Uh, and it had the, the sort of green had a homebody club on there and I thought that was perfect. It adds again just a little splash of colour um, and stops it being too, too theme driven.
Now really all I've got to do here is fill in my journaling which I did with my typewriter. It was a little bit messy. Uh, like I said there was like a feelings checklist in there so I just ticked that off. Um, that it was kind of a sad week with my Nana's funeral but it did have some good parts to it as well. Obviously um, our whole family gathered together for that and it was uh, nice to see some people that I haven't seen for a very long time uh, including Tracy and Jack despite the fact that Jack then gave me his little kitty cold. Uh, that was the less fun part of the week uh, ending that totally sick. I didn't want to add any sort of family photos or photos of the funeral so I just snapped a quick uh, sunrise photo one day and I've used some uh, moonlight white ink and some citrus twist stamps just to stamp a little sentiment in there and then called this week all done. Super simple, I mean I've sped this video up but honestly not that much and that's the way I prefer it. Hey, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple of videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you again really soon. Bye!